I got a funny text today from my buddy Andy back in Greenwood. He um, was trying to get up with me about some business stuff, and I'd um, he's asking me how things were going and everything, and I text him back about the blowout. <laughs> And then he texts me back, um, he's referring to the pee jug that I talked about in a, a couple of videos ago that he hoped I wasn't using the, the pee jug when the blowout happened and, you know, make a, a mess in the truck. Well, the good news is I wasn't trying to pee in a jug when we had a blowout. I was driving, and it was a little scary um, for a couple of seconds there because it, boom, and there was black stuff just flying I could see in my mirror I was like oh my goodness um, but I stayed calm and just you know maintained control of the truck got it slowed down pulled off you know as far as I could get to the shoulder to get out of traffic and then we you know there's a couple of you know sizable pieces of tire got those out of the road so traffic would be clear undies t-shirt socks I've got what I think are three breakfast tacos with sausage. That menu, I don't know what the hell it says, and I really can't understand this guy too good. But we're at the um, Laredo terminal. We dropped our, delivered our load, got unloaded, and um, we're back waiting on another load. And our GPS went out on the map, so we're getting that fixed. I tell you, one thing after another. But there's something that looks like a Hardee's. It's called Carl's Jr. But instead of a red burrito, at some of them, it's a green burrito. But I think it's basically the exact same menu. They, they look identical instead of Hardee's. It's just Carl's Jr. Yeah. Right, I've got the keys to the shuttle van. Gonna get out of this terminal for a little bit. It's like two, three o'clock in the afternoon now. Uh, we've got an axle seal that has to be replaced. We didn't pass inspection. I know, right? One thing after another. But we're going to go find some barbecue that I've been craving and uh, grab a few things from Walmart because we're going to be hitting team mode pretty soon. And uh, Bill says we're going to be making some runs to California. Hey, if you're ever in Laredo and want some good barbecue, Rudy's is a good place. This is H-E-B. Man, it is a nasty day. It's been nasty since we left Laredo last night and went to Dallas to get our GPS updated. It's been raining hard. We're in Arizona now. It's still raining. And I tell you, like driving on a beautiful sunny day with blue skies and a few clouds, piece of cake. You can knock out eight hours and it's a breeze. When it's raining, on the other hand, there's so much you have to pay attention to. The rains are strain on your eyes and it, I don't know I'm tired and I'm not done pardon that interruption that was my friend Larry Barber uh, another truck driver that I met in orientation and he's up around Denver but yeah I'm at a TA truck stop let's see which one do you think I should get guys normally I wouldn't but I'm thinking about going for that extreme 20 with some super duper caffeine because I'm feeling a little sluggish and we got several hours more to go we're uh, on our way to Indianapolis we've got a load that's got to be there by one o'clock tomorrow afternoon and it's eastern time we've been in central time since heck since I've been on the truck for the most part a couple hours after so um you know once we get out of I think um Illinois we will uh, go back into the eastern time, so we're losing an hour. Being lazy and taking shortcuts is real easy to do. An example of that that I'm sure often happens is not doing a pre-trip inspection. Just saw a good reason to do one. In the opposite lane to us, we just saw a 
a truck that was pulling doubles that the back tire on the first trailer came off which the axle dropped down and was hitting the road there were sparks flying there was fire up under it i don't know why this guy was still going down the road with all that going on seems like you would uh probably notice if your tire comes off um but yes always do a pre-trip quite a bit of pollution here in indianapolis downtown indianapolis and building there is home of the Indianapolis Colts. That doesn't look like a pizza hut. Well, that's a little bit of Indianapolis, but we have been unloaded and we're headed to Kentucky to get our next load and you'll never guess where we're headed next. We've been there before, yes. California. I'm ready to go to California, but we're going back to Laredo. Broke an all-time personal best record yesterday. I drove for 750 miles and 12 and a half hours behind the wheel, which I, that wasn't a DOT violation. It was like till 3.30 in the morning, and then a break, and then drove till late again. But it uh, looks pretty awesome on the log book, and that pushed me over to qualifying for team driving. So about seven, eight more days, I'll be out of this training, which there's not a whole lot of money in truck driver training, guys. It's, um, it's $70 a day. But that's whether you have a day like yesterday where I drove 750 miles, or if you sit on your butt in a terminal all day, you still make 70 bucks but I'll start getting paid by the miles after I do my upgrade in Tunnel Hill, which um, should be about a week or so away. So I'm excited about that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up video 11, sitting in McDonald's. I know, I hadn't had McDonald's since I've been out on the road, not exactly missing it, but this one didn't have the chicken wings and pizza special that some of the other pilots do. Um, but yeah, just a, a quick update. New states that I've been through is, let's see, it's. Arkansas, which I don't know how they get Arkansas out of something that looks like Arkansas. Always wondered that. And Illinois and Indiana. And getting ready to go through Kentucky, and we'll be working our way to Laredo, so I don't think I'll be in any new states between now and Texas, but we are officially team driving now, so this truck is going to be steady moving. So hopefully when I'm Actually, uh, the co-driver, I can get some cool shots of the cities and things that we um, go through. Thanks for tuning in. Hope everyone's safe.